Today, we are bringing you a new issue. So, the video that I last had provided a version that no longer works in 1.9. However, a bunch of amazing developers have updated all of the multiverse plugins. They even have plugins that were really outdated for multiverse. So, today we're going to show you where you can get those and how to install them to your server. So, I currently do not have these updated versions installed. Uh, however, it does seem that the latest version of World Edit does is compatible with the older versions of Multiverse Portals and Multiverse Core. However, if you are getting the internal error issue, this is how you fix it. So there is a great website where you can get the latest versions of Multiverse. Uh, it is a Jenkins website, which provides downloads for all of the Multiverse plugins. So we're going to go to the Multiverse Core page first. Core is the core. It is the thing you need on your server for all the other multiverse plugins to work. I am sure most of the multiverse plugins are compatible with multi world. However, I highly recommend multiverse core over any other world plugin out there. Reason being, it's easy to use, it's simple, and it's really effective for any server. So the first thing we're going to want to do is grab the latest version of Multiverse Core 2.5.0 snapshot.jar for your server. You're going to want to download this exact version found here. We're going to allow that to fully download and we're going to hit keep. If this says this may harm your computer, I assure you that it will not. However, if you are still skeptical about the download, you can use virus checking programs to check for the file before you download it. So, doesn't matter if you want to say it's a virus and don't want to download it, uh, enjoy your multiverse uh, error because that's the only way to fix it. So the next thing we're going to want to do is go to multiverse portals. You will find this in the downstream projects. These are the other multiverse projects that are currently in the works, in progress, being fixed, being patched, being updated, etc. So let's go to multiverse portals. Now with multiverse portals, it's the same thing as multiverse core. You're going to locate the multiverse portals 2.5.0 snapshot.jar and you're going to simply click it to download it and hit keep. Now that these are downloaded, what you're going to want to do is go into your FTP, click on your plugins folder, and you're going to want to locate these two files. They may be named differently on your server depending on what versions you have installed. However, I have the latest versions of Multiverse Portals and Multiverse Core downloaded, and these right here are relatively older versions of Multiverse Portals and Multiverse Core, so we're going to want to delete these. You do not need to delete the Multiverse Core folder or the Multiverse Portals folder, as these stay the same throughout the updates. Nothing's really been added, they've just been updated. So we're going to simply drag and drop them in the Upload Files section. Now depending on your FTP, this may look a bit different depending on what your host is. However, mine is MC Pro Hosting. A great hosting company for anyone looking for a server out there. Uh, but if you are using a different host, uh, I recommend contacting their support team if you cannot figure out how to upload a plugin to their FTP. I have seen some really confusing FTPs out there and that's just, it's just simpler to contact their support. So now that those are installed, we're going to want to back out to our control panel. I already have this up here. And we're going to hit the restart button on our server. It is sometimes recommended that you stop the server, then install the plugins, then start your server. However, that's entirely up to you. Number one thing though is do not reload your server. Reloading your server does not install the plugins and in some cases can corrupt plugins, can corrupt worlds, and can corrupt files. And uh, just overall, it's not a good thing. And reloading your server can potentially crash it. Imagine this, you are taking all of the data that's currently stored on your server running, uh, you have players on, you're exploring your world, etc. You hit the reload button or you type slash reload. This is going to try to refresh all the files in a very short period of time. It's going to unload and reload all those files 
and most of the time your server isn't going to be able to handle it and it will crash. This crashing is what causes corruption and we do not want that. So now that the server is restarted, we are going to join back onto the server and we're going to allow it to load. And then I will show you that Multiverse Portals and Multiverse Core work. This is a 1.9.4 server. I believe we, yeah, we can find that by typing slash version or slash ver for short. And you will see I'm running Spigot 1.9.4. So now we're going to go into Game Mode Creative. We're going to fly up and let's create a portal. So let's just do something like this right here. And we're going to do slash MVP create. And let's just do Kev5, just because that's my channel. And see, the portal created with no issues. Now I will go ahead and show you the full portal creation. Uh, MVP create Kev5 2. And now that that's done, we're going to link them together. So now currently Kev5 2 is selected. We're going to do slash MVP modify dest P. And then we're going to type Kev5. That's the first portal we created, which we don't currently have selected. Now, whenever I step through Kev5 2, it'll take me to Kev5. Now we are going to do MP, MVP select Kev5. And we're going to do the same thing except MVP modified desk P Kev5 2. And now both portals are linked together. You go through one, it takes you to the other. And uh, yeah, this can be a very glitchy mess if you try to do this at the same time. So let it snow. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new and you enjoy my content, go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It greatly helps me out. We're on the road to 2,500 subscribers and I really appreciate you guys. I know I've been inactive lately and I do apologize for that. It's more of a thing where I haven't had the full drive to do YouTube in quite a while. However, I still enjoy producing content every once in a while to help you guys out. I may start getting into full-blown content creating soon. I really want to create content on video games that I have been playing for a while but I have not really recorded anything for. Games such as Destiny. I, I don't know about Call of Duty games. I really haven't been into them since Modern Warfare 3. So we'll have to see about that. And possibly like Rocket League and other games. I think it would be a load of fun uh, even playing with some of you guys, some of my viewers. I would not mind that at all. I really enjoy just creating content on YouTube whenever I have the time. And I love the comments that I get. I love the likes and everything. Everything about YouTube is amazing. And uh, one of the biggest things that I've seen is the drama. I, I do not plan on ever getting into any YouTube drama. Now, I say that now, and maybe 10 years down the rut line, I have like maybe a couple hundred thousand subscribers. Who knows what could happen that back, you know, with, between now and then. That may never happen to begin with, but I am dragging on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for any other plugin ideas or content in general you may like, please leave it in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day, guys and girls.